OK, so we've got this particle that's in equilibrium, and it's being acted upon by these four forces, OK, where this force's magnitude is twice the size of that one, OK? So we need to calculate A and B. So what I'm going to do first is to complete these two triangles. OK, now if I just... Uh, Give myself a little bit of room, 45 degrees, 45 degrees. So the adjacent side involves cosine. So that's 2A cosine 45. And the opposite side will be 2A sine 45. Then here I'm going to have A cosine 45 and A sine 45. OK? So this is the situation I'm dealing with. So I'm going to resolve this vertically first. So what have I got? Well, I've got the 2a sine 45 working upwards. Then working downwards, I've got a sine 45. And I've got the minus and I've got the 50 newtons working downwards as well. And it's an equilibrium, so that's got to be equal to zero. Now, if I've got two lots of a sine 45, take away one lot of a sine 45, I'm left with one lot of a sine 45. I can add the 50 to both sides. So a is 50 divided by sine of 45. So 50 divided by sine of 45 is 50 root 2. So that's the value of A. Now, as for the value of B, if I resolve horizontally, taking to the right as positive, I've got the 2A cos 45 working to the right. And I've got A cos 45 as well. Take away B, because it's working against me, is 0. Now, that means I've got 3A cos 45. And I know that A is 50 root 2. And that's going to be equal to B, adding the B to both sides. So we've got 3 lots of 50 times root 2 um, times cos of 45. And that gets me 150. So this force is 150 newtons. Uh, the magnitude of that force is uh, 100 root 2 newtons, and that one's 50 root 2 newtons. Okay, so that's how I can find A and B in this case.